The winner says he saw a team car. End of story. Now find the constitution. Table clock or a statue? Objection! Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock, it was a statue. Now, how is that supposed to be a clock? You with your objections and your evidence. Just who do you think you are? Just answer the question, Mr. Solid. Hey, I I saw it there, okay? There was a clock. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. As the one stated, the statue is indeed a clock. The neck gives a switch. You just tilt it and says the time allowed. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submit it as a statue. My apologies. I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with his testimony now? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Yes, I do. Your Honor, there's a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he ne never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. The witness knew it was a clock because he... Uh, he knew the victim. Uh, no. Because he went into the apartment and saw it. You're lying. You went inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Well, yeah. Prove it. Prove I went in there. I'll do better than that. I I can prove that you're the one who killed her. You struck her down with the clock, and sh and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That's the sound you heard. Order in the court. Intrigue. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Solid. The sound must have let, left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon just spoke just as it hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain of that time. What's the meaning of this? This is basic This is baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. Uh, uh. What's it when this cat's a rabbit? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, I, that, that day, I, I never. Look, I, the clock, I heard, I saw, I mean, I saw, yeah. Ah. Ah. Shut up, shut up, shut up, I heard you. It was him, I tell you, I, I saw him. He killed her and he, he should burn. Burn! Give him death! Order, order in the courts, I say. Yeah, yeah, no. Oh, moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense claim. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? You claim the, the, you claim the sound that the one has had came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is riding on this. I better think it through carefully. Yes, Your Honor. The, ca the sound Mr. Saw had heard was definitely the clock. A face which is clear if you... A fact which is clear if you simply... Try sounding the clock. 
Let's sound the clock now here in court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I ask the court to listen very carefully. That says a lot of strange ways to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker after all. So, we had the clock. What's your conclusion? What are your conclusions, Mr. Lights? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25! <laughs> As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Solid heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Solid, try to talk your way of this one. <laughs> he forgot one thing. Uh oh, what is he talking about? Why it may seem like the clock, the clock is running three hours slow. It proves nothing. How do, how do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. He's right. How am I supposed to, how am I going to prove that? Darn it. That was so close. Mr. Wright? It seems you have a lack of critical evidence to support your claim. Yes, Your Honor. It seems I cannot let you indict the witness. Unfortunately. This ends the cross-examination, Mr. Frank Sowett. I came all this way down here to testify, and look what happens. You treat me like a criminal. A criminal! You lawyers are all slain. I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. I feel you. There's nothing I can do about it now. Not so fast, Mr. Solitz. Mia, I mean, Chief. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But Chief, it, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow on the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Uh, well, yeah. But that doesn't mean you can, still can't win. Try thinking outside the box. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the, the clock was three hours slow and think it through. Ask yourself, why was the clock the hours slow? Figure out the reason and you'll have your proof. Right, right? Can you think of a reason as to why the clock would be three hours slow? Oh yeah, yes actually. Wait, maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it and let him have it. Well, Mr. Wright, can you say the clock was already, already running slow on the day of the murder? Have you found the evidence to support this claim? Of course. There is a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Heh, <laughs> tough words. Let's see you pull this one off. Let's see the evidence that proves the clock was running slow. Uh, the passport. The victim had just returned from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is 9 hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't 3 hours slow, it was 9 hours fast. The victim has hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard that and you struck her dead in the apartment is wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Solitz? Or should I say, Mr. Did It?
You need the thumbs and the mouth and things. Great. Order, order, I say. Well, this case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Payne, your client, he, uh, he was arrested and, and has been taken away, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright, yes, Your Honor? I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone com complete a defense so quickly. To find the two culprits in, in that, and find the two culprits at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only for mouse but the court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Brooks, not guilty. And with that, the court is adjourned.